welcome back to another pickup episode. Let's get started with the last bits that I got at the Kalamazoo Toy Show. Okay, I'm just gonna start right here because this is probably my favorite besides the random hook figures. But I picked up another 10 back uh, team and T figure and that is Splinter. I picked this up from a really cool guy who actually gave me his business card and I don't remember his name. I feel like a asshole now, but he was a cool guy. You will see him in the retro toy hunt episode when it comes out. He is the one obviously where I buy this from and he's the one showing uh, me and John all of the Star Wars prototypes that he has or not prototypes uh, the Polish bootlegs so I picked up this 10 back splinter to go with my carded uh, team and T collection he's also unpunched like my 10 back April the bubble is a little bit smashed here on the bottom but that's okay he actually owns a store in Allegan Michigan and I'm in Allegan quite a bit, as you guys have seen in my videos. I go to Allegan to do uh, toy hunts at their antique stores and stuff. So next time I'm in Allegan, I'm going to swing by his shop and film an episode there, if he's okay with that. <laughs> but yeah, 10 back splinter, awesome figure. All right, let's continue with the turtles here. Um, I got an ace duck. Well, I mean, what's what's sad about this is that this card's still unpunched too. You got an unpunched ace duck that, you know, someone cut up but saved cut out the file card his least favorite time is duck hunting season ace duck here he is 100 percent complete he has his belt all four a grenades the teenage mutant ninja turtles on the back of the jacket is in great condition it's not rubbed off he has his wings plug into the hole in the back he has his gun and he has his hat it's a great looking figure um this one's definitely in better condition than the one that i currently have so he will be an upgrade uh, I got this guy for 10 bucks. So this foot soldier didn't come with the card back, but he came with the file card. You know, he's Shredder's right hand mummy. I, I don't, that's weird. Uh, he comes with his turtle shell biter, electro shock mace, and his turtle carver knife. So you can't say no to a foot soldier, especially when you get one complete for $10. Um, I believe he was marked 14. And I think Ace Duck was 12. And then I took it up to the guy and he said 20 for both. Yeah, okay. So we have a complete foot soldier for 10 bucks. Uh, you can't really beat that. I'll take that all day long. So hopefully he'll stand right here. He's got that squat. It's a horrible pose. But yeah, we're just gonna lay you down. These are the last two pickups of the show, um, along with everything else I showed you in the last pickup video. We got two more boxed Power Rangers. Now I walked up on this lady's table. So I walked up on this lady's table maybe a little less than an hour into the show. No, she had two pink rangers, two black rangers, and one yellow ranger in the box. She had these marked at $12 each. She had the karate rangers in box from 1994. They were at 15. And then she had the space aliens, like these guys back here, except it wasn't that first series. It was, uh, it was the series with Lord Zed on the box. And she had those marked at eight. I probably should have bought <laughs> the, the space aliens at eight bucks each, but um, I kind of wanted to see what else was at the show before I spent a good amount of money at her table. But I picked up these two, uh, 12 each. I offered her 20 and she took it. So I got both of these for 10, which that's a steal really. They're unopened. Um, I didn't have pink or black boxed. So now all I need is the Blue Ranger box and uh, I'll have all five Rangers in the box, which is a great deal. Maybe I should have bought the other ones to flip or resell or something, but I'm not really into that. I'd rather leave it for the next Power Ranger collector to come along and pick it up at that great price. Um, I probably should have bought the Karate Rangers, but I'm the kind of collector that wants to finish one line before I go on to the next. So I want to finish these original Triangle Box line, uh, get all five Rangers in this line first, and then I'll go on to the Karate. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Pickups. Uh, I got some awesome Ninja Turtles loose. I got a 10 back splinter and I got two uh, the pink and the black rangers in the box, the original series. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, the Kalamazoo Toy Show, like I said, was a lot of fun this time. I think it was more fun because Jay went with me, which was awesome. Having him there to film it the same exact way I would if I could clone myself and film myself. It's great having him there. I don't have to worry about any of the shots. He shoots great footage for me. Uh, he definitely will be going with me to Chicago next time. I don't care what he says. I will kidnap him. I will throw him in the trunk and I will take him down there with me. So yeah, these are my pickups. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.